Hey everybody, it's Chris with Simple Tech coming at you with this week's Simple Tech Tips, helping you get stress-free IT. So this week, we're gonna take a break from macOS Ventura and the macOS system settings. And we're gonna start diving into some individual applications, whether they're on a Windows machine or they're on Mac. Uh, in this particular one, we're gonna take a look at Clean My Mac 10. So now, if you don't know what that is, Clean My Mac 10 is a utility that's designed for Apple computers, and it helps identify, troubleshoot, and maintain your computer. It's a tool that we tend to use, gosh, I would almost say every single day here at Simple Tech, uh, and I find it invaluable for being able to troubleshoot or just do some basic maintenance on a Mac. Um, it can be used to manage storage, it can remove applications and monitor the health of your computer all at the same time. Now we're not going to go through all of those here. This is just kind of like a brief overview, how to install it, how to get started, how to make sure you're setting the proper permissions on the machine. So if you currently don't have Clean My Mac 10 downloaded, I suggest you scroll down to the show notes um, below and there is a link that we have in there and it is an installer for Clean My Mac 10. Uh, it'll give you a full 14 day version unlocked for you to use for 14 days. So it's not just a trial. It's just, it really is the full version you could use for 14 days. And then after 14 days, you could decide if you want to purchase it or not. Um, so definitely take a look at that if you want to check it out and see what it's like, because it's better than a trial version. Uh, while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, and if you're ready to go, if you got it clicked and you started downloading it already, uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? So to get started, what we really need to do is start by installing Clean My Mac. It's a very, very straightforward process. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead down into the show notes and there's a link in there to download the Clean My Mac 10. Um, comes right off our servers, the version that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari on my end, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that same link that you have access to, and go ahead and hit return. And so you can see it wants to download Clean My Mac from MacPaw, which is fantastic, and yes, yes I do. So I'm going to go ahead and do allow, and we're going to start that process. If you're using Google Chrome or Firefox or something like that, the download will be at the bottom of your screen. Safari here is going to be up here in the top. And we'll go ahead and let that finish. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And you can see now here in the bottom right hand corner, I have Clean My Mac 10. And I'm going to go ahead and click to open. Now, like I said, extremely easy process. You're simply just going to grab and drag Clean My Mac over. Now, what it's going to do, of course, it's going to need permission to do so. So I do need to put in my computer's username and password. Um, this is a standard user, so if you're using uh, an admin, the user would be filled in there. And so boom, now it's installed and it's in my applications folder. So why don't we go ahead and we will find it and open it up. So it's gonna verify it first and then it's gonna say, hey, this is downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you wanna open it? Yep, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Now, if you're in the new Mac Ventura, uh, it is going to ask you for some additional permissions such as this one here. Clean My Mac 10 would like to access files on a removable volume. A removable volume is an external hard drive or a flash drive. Think of them those ways. I have one that's plugged into my computer for backup purposes and so that's why it's asking for permission to access that. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And then here we got, you know, terms and conditions and all that kind of good stuff. You at least have to agree to the privacy policy in terms of services in order for it to work. So we'll go ahead and do okay. And then we get this fun little intro. And now we're in. Are a couple things more that I would suggest that we do. One, go ahead and say okay to the downloads folder. Again, Mac OS Ventura, you might not see this in other Mac OS's like Monterey, Big Sur, um, but Mac OS Ventura will definitely populate that. So I'm gonna say okay, you can have access to my downloads folder, you know, but this is the basic screen here that you'll always land on when you open it up. Now, if you take a look in the top right hand corner of my screen, you can see that my system is warning me that hey, some background login items were detected that were installed. So Clean My Mac 10 does install little small files that 
have it open at startup on your computer so that way it's always running. So you'll see now here in the top right hand corner of my, um, oh, let me get these out of the way, of my screen and my menu bar, I have a little new little icon up there. Um, and then you have the features of Clean My Mac 10 kind of listed in here. Now you'll also see here we got notifications. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow notifications because I do like it whenever it says my RAM is full or it needs to, to do a smart scan to go ahead and run that. Now a couple more things that we need to do here really quick. If you wanna get the full capability of this, we need to go into your system settings and allow a couple different permissions. So we're going to system preferences or system settings depending on your um, Mac OS. We're gonna to go to the privacy and security tab and we need to give it full disk access. And the reason why we need to give it full disk access is because there are some storage features where it will scan for storage and things that it can remove and clean up and also for malware production. Um, and so you're just simply gonna turn those on. If you are in an older uh, Mac system, you're just gonna check the little boxes. It's gonna ask if um, you wanna quit and reopen it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say quit and reopen. And I'm also gonna turn on these other ones here as well. And I'm gonna quit and reopen it again because I wasn't thinking I should have done them both first. And then the clean back menu. So we'll go ahead and quit and reopen. Okay, so now we have turned on all the options for clean my Mac. So now it has full disk access for when you run the utility. So that way it can do the best job possible for you uh, and keep your system running smoothly. So here we are. Now, when it comes to it, for most people, the smart scan is gonna be where it's at. It's gonna be all you really need to, but the utilities you can see that you could dive in here on this left sidebar. But all we're gonna talk about is the smart scan. Now, the smart scan has to be one of the most useful tools for Clean My Mac 10. Um, it's the heart of Clean My Mac 10, and it's a great starting point for optimizing your computer. And in some cases, like I said, it's probably all you need. Um, it's the easiest way to remove junk from your machine. Uh, it could scan for malware, um, and it also can help do some routine maintenance on the machine when you're doing that. Um, so we'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and hit scan and see what it's gonna do. So what it's doing is it's just, it's going through the cleanup phase first. Next, it's gonna go through the protection phase and it's gonna scan for any malware. And then next, it's gonna go from the speed phase. Now this one might take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna be quiet and we're gonna sit and we're gonna watch and we might need to cut and jump back in, but we'll see. Not too bad, not too long on that one, right? So what's nice is we can click on these and we can see what it's gonna do. Safe or clean, you know, system junk files. If we go to protection, clicking on it, don't see anything but speed, We'll see more. So it appears there was a hung application at some point, right? Run typical maintenance scripts, flush your DNS, free up your RAM, those types of things. So those are some basic speed things that it does. So then we're just gonna go ahead and do run. Now it does want me to quit Loom. Loom is what I'm using to record this. So in order for this to work properly, I'm gonna have to actually hit ignore and it's gonna skip the Loom, anything that's associated with Loom. Um, Loom kind of uses like a web browser type plugin type thing, so that's why it, it caches information, so hence the reason why it needs to be closed. Um, there shouldn't be a lot of data in there, so it's no big deal. So you can see next to System Junk now, there's that orange exclamation point, and that's gonna be because I didn't quit Loom. And then as it's processing, it doesn't take too long. Great little utility there. Okay, and we're done. Now you can see a recommendation, run a deep scan on the machine in terms of malware, right? Some additional things that it says you can do. So it looks like, you know, like it's telling me, I have 62 gigabytes of purgeable space. Um, those could be time machine snapshots, right? Those could be backups that haven't completely backed up yet, but it's telling me that like, hey, we can clean this stuff out and clean it up. Now, if we go to the view log and I come back, I can click on this triangle and you can see the Loom cache was not deleted in this particular case. It couldn't be removed because it's related application is running. Uh, so that's where you will see any kind of notifications that you get when it doesn't go through correctly. A couple other things just to kind of talk about here is like you can customize the smart scan. So if you come up into the settings for this 
and then you can see the scanning utility. These are all the things that it's doing when it is scanning through your files. So you can see with speed, hung applications, run maintenance. So we saw those in the previous screen when I had clicked on it, right? So you can see here's the system junk module. If we don't want it to get rid of old updates when we run the system junk module, then we can uncheck that. You wanna keep the old updates on your machine? Some people do because you could actually have a Mac in an office as an example, be the hub for updates and it stores the updates and then all the other Macs will actually pull from that computer instead. Uh, there's some configuration involved, but then you're not downloading it on every single machine. You download it to one machine and all the other machines talk to that one. It's a pretty cool little feature, but that could be why you want to keep old updates as an example, right? Like I do that actually in my office. So my machine's the hub, um, you know, so deleted users. So it just cleans up a lot of junk. <sighs> so as I mentioned earlier, like Clean My Mac is a fantastic utility. It's by far the most comprehensive utility that I have found that you can run on a Mac computer. Um, you can check it out again by downloading it from the link that I have below in the show notes. It is a 14 day full version of Clean My Mac 10. It's not just a, a trial. It will prompt you when that 14 days is up. Um, we will continue to do a few more videos on Clean My Mac 10 so you can hopefully get some more out of it during that, that 14 days or play with it and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and as always, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to our channel as we continue to dive in on individual applications and so we can help you get more out of your technology and have stress-free IT. Thanks for watching, everybody.